What's up, y'all? I'm gonna wait till some people come in. You know, yeah, some of y'all wait. Wait for the uh, wait for the intro. Got my boy Gucci Mane playing. Drop top wop. One of my favorites. Fresh for the summer. So uh, today I want to let y'all know what we're getting into. Long time no see. First of all, thank y'all for joining me. Cooking with Kells, volume 18 and a half plus three plus four. Right now we're working with some grilled mahi. We're gonna put together a watermelon salsa. That's right, watermelon salsa. Uh, me and Jennifer just came back from Mexico. We had some of the best salsa experiences. We had some of the best fish experiences. We had some of the best tequila experiences. But you know, I learned a lot, I took a lot from it, and I'm bringing it here to you. Uh, some of this is gonna be you know, spicy. I got some jalapenos that's gonna go into the watermelon salsa. Uh, I have my favorite, jalapeno citrus salt. And uh, you know what, I stay with the cast items, so we're gonna be grilling the mahi, and we're gonna grill it up, get some good, nice diamonds on top of it, and uh, we're gonna make it look pretty. So first of all, I'm gonna heat up my pans, uh, I'm gonna heat up the water. Jennifer wants green beans with her mahi, Princess wants what Princess gets. Uh, so we're gonna do that. I'm by myself today, so anything y'all gotta say, I'm gonna be reading them comments. And uh, I'm, I'm, on my, I'm my own cameraman, so uh, let's get over here, let's get these pans hot. And also let's start this uh, watermelon salsa. It's gonna have bell peppers, it's gonna have li fresh lime juice. Also one of my favorites, bourbon, si uh, bourbon smoked peppercorns. Grind it up in the mortar and pestle. Uh, Jennifer likes red bell pepper more than green or anything else. So we got the red to go with the red. I'm wearing my boy uh, Bobby's clothing, legit vintage. Go check him out. What's up, TJ? I see you. Long time no see, guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming in. Uh, you know, we're going to hit some flavor. Some flavor. Uh, cilantro is going to go in this salsa. We're going to make it, you know, real, real flavorful. I can't describe to you how much flavor we, we had in Mexico. We're talking sassy, soulful. Spicy. It was. It was all there. It was great. We had a great time. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna get into this. Right now in the background, I am bumping Gucci Mane, Drop Top Wop. Perfect for the summertime. Perfect for those who don't have a drop top but want to be like Wop. Got the knife going. I needed a good knife sharpening. I haven't been staying up on my knives. If you guys want to point me out to some knife sharpening places or if you guys got a good stone recommendation, let me know. As you can see, my knife is pretty sharp anyway, so we ain't going to stress too much about that. So, red bell peppers is sweet. It's going to complement the watermelon. Also, same color. No big deal. With the mahi tonight, I'm not going to do too much crazy stuff. It's going to get the uh, bourbon smoked peppercorns. It's going to get jalapeno citrus salt, and it's going to get love. Not going to get too much. We're going to grill the diamonds up. We're going to make it look beautiful. You know, people eat with their eyes first. So, you know, I want it to be an art. I want it to be a, uh, a sexy piece of food that you want to put in your mouth. Um, one of my biggest... One of my biggest hashtags is food porn because people get excited about food. People get, um, you know, lustful over food. And that's why we eat it. That's why it, it sets off a trick in our brains. It's an aphrodisiac. It's a stimulant. It is, you know, it doesn't have to be caffeine. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, chocolate. You know, they say chocolate is a straight aphrodisiac. It doesn't have to be all that. You know, just something that relates you to home and puts a good feeling in your heart, you know. So that's what I'm going to get into right now. Um, thank you, Sarah Fisher. She got me a uh, Four Roses single barrel. It's delicious, by the way. Uh, just having a little taste. Haven't had too much, but uh, it's delicious. I got a uh, nice new decanter to hold it in. All right, so. Like I said, uh, mahi going with the watermelon salsa. Not gonna be too crazy. Um, I'm gonna put a few things together. I'm gonna just gonna season it, throw some love on the side of it. Uh, don't forget the jalapenos. And then we're gonna grill this mahi up. We'll be done in 15, 20 minutes. Jen's at the store. Hopefully we might even be, back, be done by, she, by the time she gets back. So. Nice fine dice. Red bell peppers. You can use orange. Offsets the color. Speaking of offset, I'm listening to Migos right now. Uh, my hair is crazy today. Excuse me, guys. 
So, uh, with the watermelon, I have, uh, she got chunks from fresh time. You know, sometimes she doesn't like to cut it. She, she wants me to cut it or get it cut. So, I'm going to cut these down small size, um, bite size, you know. Everybody's had it already, but. So, nice size. You see that? You see that? Since he's sharp. I hear you, TJ. Since he's sharp. Or I can just pay, give you a couple beers and do it for me. I'm lazy. All right, so, you got the watermelon. Just gonna give it a nice brunoise, if you will. I don't know if you guys know out there in the culinary world. Brunoise is a fancy word for make it look nice and square. Small, nice and square. All right. So, what are y'all doing out there? What are y'all doing, y'all? Cooking, y'all watching TV, and no more basketball. So, uh, all you Cleveland fans better find something else to do with your time. Yeah, I said it. I'm not even a basketball fan. I love a good game. It was a good game. I'm, uh, I'm on the light scan squad, so you know, Clay and Chef Steph, we're on the same team. Same team, bro. All right, so jalapenos. Do y'all know about jalapenos? Small dice. Uh, I'm only gonna use about half of this. I'm gonna cut it real small as well. Uh, make sure that when you're cutting it, you wash your hands, your cutting board, because if you touch anything else with this, it's gonna hurt. All right. Small julienne strips to a very small dice. Very small dice. Don't forget I had good knife skills, huh? All right, throw that in there. Not gonna use too much. All right, red onion. We're gonna go all red everything. Just a little bit of red onion. Again, very simple slaw, excuse me, salsa. Everything red. I'm colorblind and these ain't red, it's purple. I'm gonna roll it. Thank y'all for watching. It's been a while, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge myself. You know, after a while, uh, I'm gonna stop going out to eat. I'm gonna just cook for y'all. Um, virtually so you know I'm gonna do this more often y'all give me some ideas y'all give me some some pointers or if you don't want to see me out here tell me that too I'm gonna get right with you all right a little bit of red onion for color all right you know what let me turn on my pans we're gonna get right to it uh, I'm going to turn on the, the cast iron for the grill. These diamond marks are going to be lovely. I got two small pieces of mahi. Nothing's on them yet. We're going to, uh, like I said, we're not going to do too much with them. Keep them virgin. I'll be right back. All right. So, again, thank you, Sarah Fisher, for the single barrel. Oh, excuse me. Single barrel. Four roses for my birthday. Happy birthday to me. All right, so mahi time. While that's heating up, extra virgin blend going on, nothing too serious. I'm gonna do the smoked, bourbon smoked black peppercorns. I'm also gonna do a little bit of jalapeno citrus salt just because I love it so much. Not too much. Um, it's not gonna be too spicy but it is gonna have flavor. Let's see, lime juice. Don't forget lime juice. We're gonna do lime juice on both of these, the fish and the salsa. Uh-oh, I hear Jennifer coming home. She was like, I'm hungry, I'm coming back. All right. So in Mexico, we had ceviche with watermelon sauce. So we had salmon with watermelon sauce. So we had, um, I made some crazy salsa. I, it was it was fun. We had a great time. Uh, more scenery than anything else. Uh, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. It's right outside of Cozumel and Cancun. It's still touristy, but it's more it's awesome. Uh, this is my Snapchat page. Close that real quick. How y'all doing? What's up? What's up? All right, Marshana, I see you out there. Oh, you said can Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so fish gets marinated. Not too crazy with the liquid because you know acid starts to cook uh, seafood, so you don't want to cook it too fast. Um, cilantro. 
fresh cilantro. I always have way too much cilantro, guys. So either freeze your cilantro or only buy what you need because it will go bad quickly and you will be salty. So I figure I can multitask right now. What are y'all listening to? Y'all listening to new scissor? Y'all listening to drop top wop? Y'all listening to what am I? I don't know. Oh, that new uh, that new two chains comes out on Friday. Trap, 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 trap. All right, finally chopped cilantro. Just dab it into the salsa. Not a lot. I always cut too much. Again, I've got a lot. So we're gonna finish this mahi with a little bit of of the cilantro as well. So. Let's see, I'm gonna go check on my pans. I'm gonna scroll y'all over real quick. Y'all can see what's up. And then my kitchen is always flaming. It's getting hot, I got my water ready for my green beans, my hair covert. I'm literally just gonna steam these guys real quick. Um, I'm gonna make it look great, don't worry. So. All right, let's do a little bit more love on the watermelon salsa. All right, one thing I have that you guys might not might need is going to be a uh, Fleur de Sel finishing salt. It is very natural and color, oh, you guys can't see it, so I'll spare you, I'll spare you. But it looks like crystal meth for a second. I don't know what crystal meth looks like until I Google it, but that's what it looks like. So this is gonna be a nice finishing salt. Um, this is like perfect on a summer day. Uh, people think, you remember, some, some, a lot of people's mamas, including my mama, she loves to put salt on watermelon. And I never got it, but it brings out the flavor, it brings out a certain texture, it brings out the juices. Salt makes uh, meats and fruits sweat um, because it's like osmosis almost, so it brings that out. So, uh, it's actually a good thing. So, bring your salt out, salt bay it up. All right, looks like I'm getting hot over here. My mahi is ready to go. Tell me the price. How many of y'all were mad about that Migos and Future concert? Tell me that. Cause I was mad. About average age was like 15 to 18 years old. Migos didn't show up. But we got on a party bus with the homies. It was a great night. Thanks Mike Martin and everybody else. Aaron who was on that party bus who let us on. Me and the ladies. Okay, so mahi here, skin on, no big deal. Gonna cook it up real nice, get these diamonds going on. Alright guys, so it's gonna be a quick little meal. Again, we are doing grilled mahi with a Watermelon salsa. Uh, the watermelon salsa has jalapeno, it has a little bit of red onion and bell pepper. Perfect summer addition to any, anything, honestly. Uh, I wouldn't do chicken, but I do, you can do it, you can do anything with this. Um, I like to cook fluidity food. I look to cook in fluidity, meaning uh, a lot of stuff I cook can be paired and married with a lot of other stuff. Um, I have a picky eating girlfriend. I have a limited budget and, uh, and a limited kitchen. So, all that I say to uh, a lot of the food I cook will be um, similar. Kind of. All right, room marks. Hopping on this body already. We're going to be done very soon, guys. I won't keep you long. Thank you for coming back and joining me after my hiatus. We went on vacation, I started working more, we started eating out more, and I was not here for y'all. Cooking, Chef Kells, people hit me up. Why are you cooking anymore? I said, well, I'm cooking, but sometimes, you know, cooking for 500 people is hard to do. So, I'm gonna try the fan on this because as you know, my kitchen gets real hot when I uh, use the cast iron. Turn the fan up. Up, not on. Up, Kelly. Yeah, there we go. All right. I just want to 
you these marks official like a referee with a whistle. So now we're going to do the skin side. I make my skin so delicious. Yes, I seasoned the other side and didn't tell you about it. Season your skin side because you can eat the skin side. There's nothing about a fish that you can't eat. You can eat the eyes, it's an aphrodisiac. Or you can just eat my food. All right, so I'm gonna turn down the grill just a little bit. I don't want anything to burn. I'm gonna make sure it's hydrated. And that's what we're gonna finish it with a little um, cilantro and lime juice, and it's gonna the acid is gonna actually act as a uh, a lifter. A uh, what's the, the magic word is a. Uh, Can't think of it. Deglaze. That's the word. Deglaze. Anyway, deglaze that grill. Give a little acid. Let it sit. I'm gonna turn these bad boys one more time. All right. That's the other one, y'all. I don't know if y'all saw that. Diamonds are forever. So. Real quick, I will teach you the trick to perfect diamonds on a grill. Uh, first, you start with 10 o'clock. You start with 10 o'clock, uh, this might not make no sense. You look at the clock, 10 o'clock, right. That's gonna make this line. Then, two o'clock. Two o'clock goes this way, you just turn in the meat, whatever it is, may it be chicken, ribs, steak, mahi, whatever it is. 10 o'clock, two o'clock, 10 o'clock, two o'clock. All of a sudden, you're in the club like, I'm making grilled diamonds. So anyway. Uh, throw it up, throw it up. 10 o'clock, turn it to 2 o'clock. Makes a perfect diamond. All of a sudden, you're cooking like Kells. Jennifer's home, y'all. Pull that off. I'm going to get these plates ready. Shout out to my Mermaid plates. <laughs> it's because my cooking is magical, mythical. So, again, for y'all just joining, mango salsa. Shoot, I said mango. Watermelon salsa. Watermelon salsa, lime juice, jalapenos, jalapeno citrus salt, uh, love, bourbon smoked pepper, and I have the fleur de sel citrus salt. A tiny bit went in there. Like I said, salt brings out the uh, the juices and the flavor of a lot of fruits and vegetables. That's why we use it. As long as not too much sodium and iodized salt. All right. Yeah, this this fish is juicy, like a like a chicken breast. Like any other breast. Um, Are you gonna grill the watermelon or no? Am I gonna grill the watermelon? She asked. No, I'm not gonna grill watermelon because she bought two big, two small pieces. Well, she's buying them for your salsa. So anyway, uh, no, I turned watermelon bites into watermelon salsa, which is about to be a watermelon fiesta on top of this mahi. All right. Mine is almost done. Huh. All right. We're going to plate this. I'm going to clear the way, get all these dishes out of the way so you can see this. I'm gonna steam these vegetables real quick. Water's already hot. Magic and Facebook Live. Water was already hot. I bet you weren't ready for that. What up? Reggie said, I'm out. I'm there after work. Well, the food won't be. Reggie, thank you for your, uh, your Suko Japanese whiskey. I got some of that in the back. Waiting on you to drink it because it's a required taste. It's awesome. So, if you guys don't know about cast iron, get you one. Get you one, get you two, get you three, get you four. Because eight reasons they last forever, they taste good, they last forever. Uh, you can take them anywhere, they last forever. Anything. Cast iron is the way to go. Cast iron is better than those sh those crappy non-stick pans that you see on TV. Chef Tony's cooking like burnt chocolate on 
these skillets that are not good for you. Get you a cast iron and a man that can cook. And a new toothbrush every three months. And an oil change after 40,000 miles. And a sharp knife. Seventeen five. All right, my heat's done. I'm gonna get out y'all hair, man. I'm gonna get out y'all hair, real quick. Mama told you. All right, I'm gonna season my vegetables. Sea salt. Huh? 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 I also didn't tell you. I season the water first. Y'all should know that. Down, even though I'm not too much down. Raindrop, drop top. Alright. We came from something to something. I don't drink nobody. Yes, that is cilantro. Bad and bush. Cooking up mahi in the oven. Alright, let's go. Mahi, hair cover. Can y'all see that? All the comments are in the way I can't. Oh, I can't tell if y'all see that or not. All right, grilled mahi, fresh from fresh time. Woo, 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 woo. Watermelon salsa, on top. On top of the world, it gets everywhere. Yes, black people like watermelon. Yes, white people like watermelon. It's a thing. What do you think, guys? That is, <clears throat> I don't know what it's called at, but y'all see it, y'all see it, y'all see it. All right. My mahi is juicy. My watermelon is fresh. My president was black. My forehead is still big. All right, guys. So, maybe a little juice to, to finish it off. Juicy J, Juicy K, delicious. All right, so again, mahi, straight from fresh time. Watermelon, I cut it up, I put some love in it, I put some jalapenos in it, I made a salsa. I grilled that mahi to perfection, right on a cast iron grill, right for y'all, right now. Holla at your boy, and I'll see y'all next time, all right? All right, turn this off. <laughs>